This journey through time will focus on the Golden Triangle, Pittsburgh's famous point down through the years. In 1754, the French came from Erie down the Allegheny River to the forks of the Ohio, building forts along the way. After defeating a small group of British at the site, they began building Fort Duquesne. General Braddock and the British attempted to take Fort Duquesne in 1755 and met with defeat at the Battle of the Monongahela at present-day Braddock, Pennsylvania. The French garrison also defeated an attacking British regiment in September 1758 at the Battle of Fort Duquesne. But late in that same year, 1758, the French burned and abandoned Fort Duquesne at the approach of General Forbes due to the overwhelming numbers of the soldiers in his expedition. So the British built a new fort and named it Fort Pitt after William Pitt the Elder who led the British government twice in the 1700s and is often credited with the birth of the British Empire. The fort was built between 1759 and 1761 right next to the site of the former Fort Duquesne. But the British Crown turned it over to the colonists in 1772 and by 1776 the fort was no longer needed and all the salvageable remains of it were auctioned off to the public in 1797 after it was decommissioned by the army. But by then Pittsburgh was becoming well known as the gateway to the West. In fact, it was in 1804 that Lewis and Clark began their expedition from Pittsburgh to Oregon and the Pacific Ocean. And Pittsburgh incorporated as a city in 1816. Pittsburgh has since grown by leaps and bounds, mostly by welcoming generations of immigrants. It was a magnet for Europeans from all countries who carved out livings in steel, iron, glass, and, and other factories all along its three rivers. And while they created the many ethnic neighborhoods that give Pittsburgh its colorful nature, it was the junction of the Allegheny and Monongahela rivers at the head of the Ohio, the Golden Triangle, that increasingly became a symbol of the region's common identity. The only thing that remains of Fort Pitt is the redoubt or blockhouse built in 1764. It lay outside the main fort and was built as a first line of defense. It was actually used as a residence for almost a hundred years and was saved and maintained by the Daughters of the American Revolution after Henry Clay Frick wanted to take the property, move the blockhouse so that he could build more of his corporate empire at Pittsburgh's point. But thankfully, the Daughters of the American Revolution uh, spent a lot of time and effort creating the historic structure that's the oldest known building in uh, among three or four states. So I'll just let the pictures tell the rest of the story.
sets the sky and then tumble back down to earth again. Living in a city that never quits. Living in a city where the streets are paved with good intentions and a people's faith in a sacred promise that you made.
Put on my black and gold and I boarded the plane Touched down in the land of the bucks and pens in the middle of a Steelers game Andrew Carnegie, won't you look down over me Yeah, I got back row tickets, so I'm blue as a boy can be Walking in Pittsburgh, walking on a bridge made of solid steel Walking in Pittsburgh, do I really feel the way I feel? Saw the ghost of Myron down on Liberty Avenue Followed him up to the Hinesfield turnstile And watched him walk right through now security, they did not see him They just hover around his tomb And there's a really great team Waiting on that seventh ring Down in the locker room Walking in Pittsburgh Walking on a bridge made of silent steel Walking in Pittsburgh Do I really Band from man, he's one way streets that go nowhere. The 61 C will be glad to take you, though you haven't got your fare. You got a prayer in Pittsburgh. There's a woman who plays piano every Friday near 6th and Wood. And they brought me down to see her, and they asked me if I would do a little number. And I said with all my might, and she said, tell me, are you in the Christian and that? And I said, ma'am, get your English right. Walking in Pittsburgh, walking on a bridge made of silent steel, walking in Pittsburgh.